Ben and Jen, from local legislation to changes on the federal level, gun violence prevention advocates I spoke to tonight said that this is a tragic reminder of the work that still needs to be done. Another unthinkable tragedy in an American school. Unconscionable that um, we now live in a country where um, someone can enter a school with two assault weapons and open fire and kill our children. A shooting at the Covenant School, a private Christian school in Nashville, Tennessee, killing three children and three adults. Aren't you tired of this? Are, are you tired of this yet, America? The tragedy once again prompting calls for change across the country and right here in Connecticut. Common sense gun violence measures help stop gun violence. We know it from Connecticut's experience and other states that have acted responsibly. Connecticut Senators Richard Blumenthal and Chris Murphy are behind several gun control proposals on a federal level. That includes an assault weapons ban, raising the age to be able to purchase assault weapons from 18 to 21, and the creation of an Office of Gun Violence Prevention within the Department of Justice. An office where there can be outreach to communities and states, bring together federal and state and local resources, combined efforts. Though this shooting happened hundreds of miles away, gun control advocates say it underscores the need to strengthen our laws here in Connecticut as well. The state's Judiciary Committee is set to vote on several measures on Tuesday. On the agenda, Governor Lamont's more than 70-page proposal that aims to reduce gun violence through efforts like restricting open carry and cracking down on ghost guns. What is it gonna take? How many children have to die before we do anything um it's it's not it's not too early to do anything in fact it's too late but advocates say it's not just about laws there are many many things that we can do from a legislative perspective and also from a programmatic perspective that will definitely bring the numbers down the connecticut citizens defense league a nonpartisan organization which advocates for the right to bear arms also responded to the nashville school shooting saying in part in a statement this is simply not a time to be politicizing broken hearts there is an appropriate time and place for discussions on public policy but it is not tonight and of course these situations are very difficult for anyone to process coming up on the news at 11 i spoke to a mental health professional for some advice in the studio gabby molina fox 61 connecticut's news station